Hi, in this video, we'll talk about user defined exceptions. So what is user defined exception? How we can create that? We will see with one example in this. So sometimes we need to create our own exceptions to meet the programming requirements. These ex exceptions are called user defined exceptions or customized exceptions. Okay, so as part of exceptions, we are we already saw so many excep exceptions in our previous videos. That is checked exception, unchecked exception, so interrupted exception, IO exception, arithmetic exception, null pointer exception, SQL exception. So many are there in built in Java. So that we saw, but sometimes those are not sufficient. We need to create our own exception. So that time, how you can do that? Okay, so for example, insufficient funds exception. So you are developing a banking related application. If somebody tries to withdraw some money, so you need to mention, you need to say that customer that insufficient funds exception, you have to raise that. So daily limit crossed exception. So in a daily, I need uh, a person, a customer can withdraw only 10,000. If you try to withdraw more than that, you need to throw an exception. So how you can implement all those things. So with the help of an example, we'll discuss let me go to Visual Studio Code. So here I created one class called user defined exceptions example. Okay. So now, so I'll try to um, write an exception for daily limit class exception. Okay. So first system dot out dot print ln. So I'm giving one instruction. Please enter. withdraw money. So user has to give some amount. So then I'll use scanner class. Scanner is equal to new scanner of system dot in. So for the scanner, we need to import java dot util dot star package. Okay. Now int amount is equals to sc dot next int. Okay. So now I, I'll write the logic. If amount is greater than 10,000. Okay. If amount is greater than 10,000, I need to throw one exception. Throw. What is that exception? New daily limit cross exception okay i want to throw this exception that is user defined my own exception okay i want to give some information to the customer so how you will implement so first if i want to do this one i need to create this exception and it should be of throwable type or exception type or any exception type right so for that what i'll do i'll create a class class daily limit cross exception inside this i will create a constructor for this and here this is parameterized constructor i'll give one string str so now it should be of type throwable right so then i will extends throwable okay and i'll call super class constructor okay we already saw what is the super keyword. It will call super class. This is throwable call constructor. So I'm passing the information to that. Okay. So this is parameterized constructor. So if it is parameterized constructor, if I'm using here, I can provide some parameter in the form of string, right? That is what is it? It is accepting. Now I'll give the meaningful information to the user. What is that? You with the drawn sorry what i'll put you are trying to with the more than the daily limit okay more than the daily limit please check before you with the draw. okay so this is what information i want to give Okay, so let me make it two lines. Yeah, 
So now um, what I'm giving information to the user, you are trying to withdraw more than the daily limit. Please check before you withdraw. Otherwise, sorry. Otherwise, system dot out dot print ln. As I'll give one information like you withdraw withdrawn your money successfully. Enjoy the day, something like that. Right, this is what I display to the user. Now, if you try to execute this, right? If this is more than that, I cannot raise interrupted exception. I cannot throw IO exception. I cannot throw arithmetic exception, right? So to uh, fulfill my purpose, I created my own exception. Class daily limit cross exception. It is the child class of throwable now. So I created one constructor and it is calling super class constructor that is from the throwable. Okay, so because of this is parameter constructor and accepting string, I can give whatever information I want from here. Okay, so go back to here. So I'll try to compile this. What is that? Let it be in single line. User defined exceptions example, please check this. Unreported exception daily. Right, why it is coming? So what mistake we did, it is saying unreported exception. Okay, so we are throwing an exception, we are not handling. So we need to use throws keyword to handle this, right? So throws daily limit cross exception, okay? So now if I try to compile this, so it compiled. So I'll try to execute this. So it is asking, please enter withdraw money. I'll say 5,000. You see that you withdrawn your money successfully enjoy the day. The reason is there is no exception. 5,000 is within the limit. But if I try to execute the same thing again, now I'll give 15,000. You see that exception in thread main, daily limit cross exception. You are trying to withdraw more than the daily limit. Please check before you withdraw, okay? You see, you are trying to withdraw more than the daily limit. Please check before you withdraw. And this is where it is getting in the ninth line. You see that here, right? So we can give our own exception. Then we can raise that. Okay, this is how you can create your own exception, right? You need to create that class. It should be of type throwable. And you need to create one constructor of string parameterize and you need to call the super class constructor use the same thing you pass whatever information you want to pass to the user okay this is how you can create user defined exception okay so what could be the possible interview questions from here so what is user defined exception so if i if you want to give your own exception then you can create a an exception that is called user defined exception explain user defined exception with an example so we just saw daily limit cross exception so you can create you can uh, tell this kind of example okay so that's all in this video thank you